What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $1,400 to $2,000 third stimulus check update. Well, maybe I should actually change that now. I have brand new major developments on what is going on with the third stimulus check package now. We have actual details from the counter proposal from the Republican Party, and they are actually setting up a meeting, meeting with President Biden today regarding the next stimulus package. Major developments are happening with the next stimulus package. I'm going to give you the latest details of it in this video, and we're going to hear directly from the White House so you don't get any fake news. You don't get any misinformation. You always get the real information here. That's why I show you the actual interview, show you the actual article so you get the real information. I get so many people coming here saying, but somebody said this, somebody said that. I'm like, yeah, that's just not real. I'd rather just show you directly from the White House so you can get the actual real information. And I'm going to show you what the actual Republicans are saying. So you get both sides of the story and what is actually happening with the third stimulus check right now. Major breaking news literally coming in by the hour and will be all day today. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos. Click the bell icon to all notifications so you get notifications when we go live and hit the like button for us. It really helps out our channel. Number one is Senate Republicans have requested a, a meeting with President Joe Biden over their new stimulus proposal from the Republican side. And President Biden has granted them a meeting today to discuss if they can reach a bipartisan agreement or if the Democrats are just going to ram through the third stimulus check package with one of these bad boys, the reconciliation card. So this meeting is happening today. We have brand new information on the Republican proposal on what they have in it. In the new stimulus package proposal coming from the Republicans, this is much different from the sides that the Democrats have. Remember, the Democrats have control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency, so they can literally push through their own $1.9 trillion stimulus package with one of these and without any Republican support. However, Republicans are doing a last-ditch effort to, quote, be fiscally conservative here and have announced a $618 billion stimulus uh, package, which is basically less, slightly less than one-third of the amount of the Biden proposal, which is $1.9 trillion. Also in this bill from Republicans is a $1,000 stimulus check. So definitely smaller than the $1,400, but larger than the $600. Now remember, this is just the Republican proposal, and unfortunately, or fortunately, or whatever, whatever side you're on, the Republicans are not in control right now. They have lost control of the Senate. Mitch McConnell is no longer the Senate Majority Leader. The Democrats now control the House, the Senate, and the presidency, so they can literally pass bills without any Republican support at all. But Republicans are basically saying, hey, uh, we'd like to pass this with Republican support. Here's our bill. This is what we're willing to do. Oh, and by the way, the income eligibility from the Republican side is not good. For the $1,000 stimulus checks coming from the Republican side, the income eligibility is, wait for it, only $40,000 for a full check. If you make under $40,000 as a single person, you would receive the full $1,000 check. $80,000 for a couple would receive their full $1,000 and $1,000, $2,000 checks. Over $40,000, it starts to get phased down and it phases out completely at $50,000. So if you were a single person making $51,000, you would not get the Republican $1,000 stimulus check at all. You would literally get zero. Your children would get zero. If you make $51,000, you would get nothing. For a couple, it would be double that. So $100,000, get nothing. Remember, it starts at $40,000 and the phase out begins uh, at $40,000 and goes until $50,000. Remember, this is just the Republican proposal. They also want to extend the $300 per week unemployment benefits. However, only at $300 per week, the Biden proposal was $400 per week and would kick in at, at the end of the $300 per week current unemployment extension, which is the middle of March. So Joe Biden wants to bump that up to $400 per week. Republicans want to continue that at $300 per week. 
By the way, I will pop this up on the screen here for you so you can see the 10 GOP, aka Grand Old Party Republicans, for the $1,000 checks per person. Individuals earning up to $40,000 per year would be eligible for the full payments, and it would phase out gradually up until $50,000 would receive no money for a single person, double those numbers, 80,000 and 100,000 for married people. Now, President Biden is expected to meet with these 10 Republicans and also the Problem Solvers Caucus to see if they can come to a compromise. Remember the Republican proposal for the $1,000 stimulus checks, the $300 per week unemployment extension, and, um, the $618 billion is kind of like the lowest amount that could possibly happen at this point. And honestly, that is not expected to happen because the Republicans just don't have the power right now. So because the Republicans just don't have the power right now, that's basically like the absolute minimum that could ever happen. And really, there's a very small chance of that even happening. It's more like, at best, the Republicans could meet in the middle between Joe Biden's proposal and the Republicans. If the Senate was different, if those two seats were not won by the Democrats in the Georgia Senate runoff races, then we might be having a different discussion. Then Joe Biden might have that 1.9, the Democrats might be at the 600, and they might have to meet in the middle or meet closer to the Republicans to get the Republican vote in the Senate. But the, the people decided and the vote went to the Democrats, and now the Democrats control the Senate. So we're having a very different discussion today than we would have had if the Republicans were still in control of the Senate. Next up, let's go to White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, who is literally talking live right now over stimulus. I've rewound it a little bit so we can start at the stimulus portion because she's literally just rapid fire answering questions and answers on stimulus, the stimulus package the stimulus checks, the stimulus bill that is supposed to be, uh, as we've seen from Bernie Sanders and Nancy Pelosi, uh, possibly introduced on the House and Senate floor today or tomorrow. So let's go right now to White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki. Uh, also, as you, you many of you have noted, um, the president spoke with Senator Collins yesterday, as you all know, invited her and other Senate Republicans uh, to the White House uh, later this afternoon. This meeting is part of the president and his administration's, our administration's close and ongoing engagement with members of both parties and on Capitol Hill and on the American Rescue Package. Throughout those conversations, we've underscored the economic and health challenges that our country faces, uh, issues he will, of course, be reiterating today, and the need to move swiftly to address them with a package that is big enough to get schools safely reopened, give financially struggling families and communities a bridge, and deliver on his promise to speed up vaccine delivery and defeat the virus. Uh, it's important to remember that the size of the package was designed with the size of the crisis, uh, dual crises, as we've said. Um, and I wanted to just call out um, a couple of uh, economists and some economic data uh, that we've seen over the last several days. A new report by the Brookings Institution estimates that with the American Rescue Plan, we could boost GDP by 4 percent and return our economy to pre-COVID levels by the end of 2021. A separate analysis by Moody's uh, Analytics found that the president's plan would create 7.5 million jobs this year and double our economic growth and return our economy back to full employment one year faster. The IMF's chief economist said their preliminary analysis found that the plan could boost U.S. economic growth by 5 percent over three years. Uh, a couple of other just updates for you. Um, uh, just today, uh, the U.S. Con Conference of Mayors sent a letter to congressional leadership urging them to take immediate action on the American Rescue Plan. This letter was signed by over 400 mayors. I know there's a lot going on, so just wanted to highlight it for all of you. Uh, and West Virginia Governor Jim Justice, also a Republican, said in interviews today that he agrees that going big in this moment is critical. On the uh, president's meeting this evening with the senators, can you give us a sense of how he views that meeting. Is it going to be negotiating? Is he going to be prepared to counter anything the Republicans might offer? Or is it just a session where, you know, they ask to meet with the president and he's simply giving them an opportunity to voice their concerns? Well, the president has been clear since long before he came into office that he's open to engaging with both Democrats and Republicans in Congress about their ideas. And this is an example of doing exactly that. So as we said in our statement last night, 
it's an exchange of, an, of ideas, an opportunity to do that. This group obviously sent a letter uh, with some outlines, some top lines of, of their um, concerns and their priorities, and he's happy to uh, have a conversation with them. What this meeting is not is a forum for the president to make or accept an offer. Uh, so I think that's important uh, to convey to all of you. So yeah, that's important there, and that, and that pretty much goes with exactly what I said, is the president is not just going to accept the Republicans' offer. And it's not that I'm Republican or I'm Democrat, it's just kind of the way the landscape is today. The Democrats just happen to have all the power right now, the, the House, the Senate, and the presidency. So really, the Republican offer is like the bare minimum that could go through. So basically, the bare minimum that could possibly go through right now is $1,000 stimulus checks and uh, that, that lower eligibility and the $300 per week. So anybody that says the third stimulus check isn't happening it, it isn't, <laughs> isn't listening. Okay, because number one, the Republicans just gave us a $1,000 stimulus check offer. That's the bare minimum that could happen. And as Jen Psaki just said, that uh, they're not going to accept their offer. At the best case scenario for the Republicans is they would get a uh, negotiation, okay, at the best case. At the worst case for the Republicans is the Democrats are just going to pass this $1,400 minimum check with the reconciliation card. So anybody that says in the comments that the third stimulus check isn't happening, it just isn't, they're just not listening, okay? They're not listening to the actual conferences and what's going on. The Democrats are going to pass this $1,400 minimum check with this card, with or without Republican support. Republicans are saying, well, we want to do it, but we want to do only $1,000 checks. So at the bare minimum, $1,000 checks are kind of the bare minimum. There's just almost no way that there's not going to be $1,000 or $1,400 checks. Personally, I don't think Biden's going to budge on the $1,400, but uh, we will see. His view, it remains uh, what uh, was stated in the statement last night, but also what he said on Friday, which is that the risk is not that it is uh, too big. This package, the risk is that it is too small, uh, and that remains his view, and it's one he'll certainly express today. Go ahead, darling. So what would you say is more important to the president at this point on this first legislative test? Is it going big or going bipartisan? It seems like you can't have both. Uh, well, I think the president believes we can, and there is a historic uh, evidence uh, that it is possible to take uh, a number of paths, uh, including uh, through reconciliation, if that's the path that is pursued, and for the vote to be bipartisan. But it's important to him that he hears this group uh, out on their concerns, on their ideas. He's always open to making uh, this package stronger. Uh, and he also, as was noted in our statement last night, remains in close touch with Speaker Pelosi, with Leader Schumer, and he will uh, continue that engagement throughout the day and in the days ahead. Go ahead. You mentioned that uh, President Biden's proposed COVID relief package is designed to be commensurate with the crises. This group of 10 Senate Republicans, what they're offering, as you know, is more than a third less. The top line number, the $600 billion, is more than a third less of that $1.9 trillion that President Biden says he wants. Given that, do you see that as a serious attempt at compromise on their part? Uh, well, I appreciate the opportunity to, to give more comment on their proposal. I think it's they put their ideas forward. That's how the president sees it. He felt it was, uh, you know, an effort to ha engage uh, and engage on a bipartisan basis. And that's why he invited them to the White House today. But his view is that uh, the size of the package needs to be commensurate with the crisis, the crises we're facing, the dual crises we're facing, hence uh, why he proposed a package that's $1.9 trillion. Does the president plan to invite Democrats? into the Oval to have these similar conversations? Well, I can promise you we're less than two weeks in. There will be many Democrats in the Oval Office, and I'm sure uh, this is just the, you know, part of our ongoing effort to engage directly. So basically, that uh, White House press conference, that's White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki. She's the new Kaylee McEnany, if you've uh, been following for, for now, obviously from the Democratic side. That's live going on right now. I will go through it after this video and put any important parts in the next video, which will be at 8 p.m. But basically, it, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think President Biden is going to compromise on this $1.9 trillion? Do you think it's going to come down? Do you think he'll come down a little bit? Do you think he'll come down a moderate amount? Do you think he'll come down on the $1,400 checks? Now, remember, we have Democrats pushing for larger stimulus checks. And we had over 50 House of Representatives uh, from the Democratic Party push for monthly stimulus checks. So 
it just shows how different the landscape is. I, I like that question from that reporter. Do you think the Republicans' proposal, which is less than one third the amount that Joe Biden has, President Joe Biden, is even a serious proposal? So uh, it is kind of interesting that he worded it that way because less than one third is very small. Now, if the Republicans had controlled the Senate, those would be very real negotiations, okay? So, uh, and literally, you know, nobody could have scripted that the Democrats would win the Senate or the Republicans would have won one out of two seats, but this is what happens. So the things are very, very different that the discussions we're having because the Democrats can pass it on their own. They can literally just not negotiate with the Republicans and this very well might happen, or they might negotiate a little bit I think that they're probably going to end up putting uh, income restrictions on there. I personally think that Joe Biden will put it either at 75000 or 99000 with a hard cutoff to kind of get rid of that 1% excess that we've talked about on the channel here so that anybody making over 99000 and has multiple kids will not get a smaller reduced check. So that doesn't affect very many people. It's less than 1% of people um, that will happen. But the, remember, the Republican plan is to start the phase out at $40,000 for an individual and up to $50,000 it stops completely. Let me know your thoughts on that. That seems pretty, pretty low and would cut out probably a lot of people, a lot of middle income, a middle, uh, middle, middle income, middle earth. <laughs> they come from middle earth and, uh, all we need is a wizard staff now. <laughs> Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, basically, um, the, the Republican proposal is the minimum that could ever happen. And honestly, it's very unlikely, almost impossible that that is the bill that will happen. Uh, if anything, there will be a negotiation up from there or down from the Democratic parts. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I will keep you updated. We're going to have breaking news for the rest of the day as they're meeting with the president today. And we're going to see what they say. So remember, the next two videos come out at 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern time, which if you're Pacific time, which is 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. And if you're in the middle, you have to just subtract an hour or two from East Coast time. The easiest way is subscribe down below. It's completely free. Click the bell icon to all notifications. You'll at least get a notification on your phone or your iPad or whatever you use to watch it for the first three videos. You got to just remember to tune in at the 11 p.m. Eastern time video on your own because YouTube only sends out three notifications uh, per day for a channel. So yeah. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA, where I have dozens of students that have replaced their nine to five income selling products on Amazon. Click on one of those videos to watch them next. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.